A-level chemistry quick test video for relative mass. So the first exercise, just some relative formula masses to calculate. Just to let you know, I've used an A-level chemistry data sheet for this. So if you're using another uh, periodic table, you might have slightly different relative atomic masses on there. So anyway, if you want to have a go at this, pause the video and then play on for the answers. Okay, so carbon dioxide, one carbon, two oxygens, 44.0 to one decimal place. Sulfuric acid, so two hydrogens, a sulfur and four oxygens, that's 98.1. Glucose, C6H1206, that's 180.0. Ethanol, C2H508, 46.0. Magnesium nitrate, so with this one, remember you add together the nitrogen and three oxygens and then double them because of the bracket. So that comes out at 148.3. Next one, aluminium sulfate. So we've got to double the aluminium and treble the mass of the sulfate. And that comes out at 342.3. And the last one, that's a hydrated salt. So we've got one magnesium, one sulfur, four oxygens in the MgSO4 part. So if you add those together and then to that, you need to add seven waters so that's 7 times 18 so the total relative formula mass for that comes out at 246.4 and for the second task we're going to calculate some relative atomic masses to three significant figures from the information given so again if you want to pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers Okay, so the first one, we've got a sample of boron. It's found to have two isotopes, boron 10, boron 11, and we're given the relative abundances of the isotopes. So it's not percentage abundance, it's relative abundance. Okay, so the first part of this is we put them into the formula where we take the relative abundance and we multiply that by the relative isotopic mass, the mass of that isotope. So it's 1 times 10 plus 4 times this 11 and we divide that by the total abundance so obviously the total abundance is the 4 plus the 1 and that's where that 5 comes from and so the three significant figures that comes out at 10.8 the second one we've just got three isotopes to deal with but this time we're given the percentage abundance so the method is exactly the same but this time we divide by 100 because the total of those abundances is effectively 100 so exactly the same as before we get that as a calculator value but we need to put it to three significant figures so it comes out at 